I'm sat on the floor and it's already really hurting my back. <laughs> it's not a good start. Hello everybody, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Um, we're doing something a little bit different today. I want to talk more about books and reading and sort of join the whole book side of social media. Like I love it. All I watch these days is like book hauls and like organisation and I just love it and my obsession with reading has just got a little bit out of hand like I have bought so many books and like Christmas all I was asking for, for was books like everyone's like what do you want for Christmas I'm like books books I just want books um, I'm literally obsessed and since Christmas I have bought a ridiculous amount of books so I've just bought some bookshelves I built them literally a couple of days ago they've been empty sitting just waiting for me to fill everything up. Right now I just have one singular drawer in my wardrobe that's just got all my books in but it's all just starting to like all these new books have had nowhere to go they've just been piled up on the floor in my dressing room so I I caved and I bought a bookshelf <laughs> so that's all built that's all ready but I wanted to film this video before I started putting anything on the bookshelves so I thought we'd go through today and like look at the ridiculous amount of books that I've bought since Christmas. So this is all Christmas presents or books that I've bought with my own money since Christmas and now, which is literally less than two months. So I've got my coffee, we're caffeinated, we're ready. You might want to grab a drink because I've got a feeling this is going to be a lengthy one. So cheers and let's get into uh, all my books. I've like arranged everything into sort of Christmas presents and then where I've got them from just in case anybody's interested and if I can I'll try and give you sort of like the prices of what I got it for. The first sort of like set of books that I got was these ones here so I got these for Christmas. I'm just gonna hold the first one up because they're so heavy. Um, but yeah this is the House of Night series it's there's 12 books in the series um it's like a vampire YA fantasy romancey type series but yeah so i have actually read the first five of these and i'm so far really really enjoying it so five down seven to go but these are amazing i highly recommend these if you have never heard of them and like vampire type series these are really good oh they're all falling over already some more books i got for christmas are the disney twisted tales sort of series there's i believe 17 of these out at the minute so I got the first two sets for Christmas. So these are basically like um, retellings of the Disney classics, but it's what would have happened if it wasn't a happy ending, if that makes any sense. So um, in these ones, there's, if I can remember, Mulan, uh, Snow White, Little Mermaid, this is Testimulus, Belle, Aladdin and Sleeping Beauty. So they, they're, these ones I got for Christmas. I believe these are off Amazon. I can't find them at the moment but if I find them I will link them um but yeah these I haven't read yet there are they are on my uh, soon to read list shall we say but yeah I love the theory like the not the theory that's the wrong word what's the word I'm looking for I have no idea but I love like I love this style of writing and I really like this like, idea I'm a sucker for the Disney films I'm obsessed I love Disney so I think this will be a really interesting read um, but with me getting these for Christmas I then went onto the World of Books website and bought some more basically <laughs> I've not even read any of them yet and I'm already excessively buying them so those are the first six and then I went and bought the next six <laughs> in the series these are all from World of Books, so as you can tell, they're not all the same edition and one of them is slightly different like sizings and stuff, which does annoy me a little bit, but equally, these were like £4 each, so I can't really complain. So on these, we've got Cinderella, Alice in Wonderland, Peter Pan, Tangled, my favourite Disney film. Go the distance, this is Hercules. I'm sure that there's 17 of the Disney series, but this is just the first 12. So I did use my Christmas money to buy the rest of those Disney ones, as well as my shelves okay, so the next lot of books i'm going to go through are the books that i got from the works so sticking with the disney theme the next lot i got was this here so this is the never after series um now i've not actually heard that much about these yet 
but I've seen quite a lot of people have got them and they've got really high reviews and things. Like on the works websites, they've got an, a 4.9 star review, so they can't be that bad. But again, I think these are just sort of like really loose retellings of the Disney stories, but a bit more adult base. Yeah, Dark and Delicious, Fractured Fairy Tale, Reimagining of Peter Pan, Lion King, Wizard of Oz, Aladdin and Crossed, which if I am correct in thinking is based on Hunchback of Notre Dame. Don't quote me on that, I think that's right. But I got these five books for £20 from the works. The next sort of set that I've got are the Elsie Silver, I think it's Chestnut Springs series. I did actually buy these today, which is very naughty of me because I'm meant to be on a book buying ban. But um, the lady at the shop did actually tell me that there's a fifth one now called Hopeless that I did not know about. Um, she said that they'd sold out anyway, or I would have definitely got the full set. But for now, I've got the first four. And these are in that three for six deal. So I got three of them, for, like three for six. And then the other one was just £2.50 anyway. But I am so excited to read this series. I know there's been a lot of like really good reviews on them. So I'm definitely excited to give these a go. Okay, um, I next have the U series. I again got this from the works, but looking on their website, I can't see it anymore, but I want to say it was £15 for the three books. I've not read them yet, but I did enjoy the series. I know nothing about the books. I don't know if they're any good. I don't know if it's sort of like very similar to the series or if the series are just sort of lo loosely based off the books. I don't know, but I am very excited to give these a go. The next series that I bought from the works, I'm just trying to grab it, but my joints do not enjoy this. Um, it's the Shatter Me series. Now it comes just like two separate sets. And I'll be honest, again, I don't know much about these. I know that they're kind of like fantasy books and that the main character's got sort of like a dark power but apart from that I literally know nothing else so I don't even know the reading order because I thought it was this one and then this one like Shatter Me and then Imagine and then Unravel and like so I don't know if it kind of goes like this or what I'm gonna have to look into it more but I'm definitely excited to give these a go so both of these are from the work so I got this set for 15 and this set for 12. I hope I like it because I have just bought the whole series without having sort of any knowledge on the books but that's me for you once I get an idea in my head I just kind of go for it I don't check into it anywhere near as much as I probably should the next ones aren't really sets necessarily they're more just sort of random books so a lot of these are the, were on the three for six deal at uh, three for six pound deal on at the works so I'm just going to kind of go through them separately so the first one is the flat share I have read this already um I did really enjoy it so I read this and then pretty much straight away watched the series and the series just doesn't do it justice in my opinion. There's so many details in the books that you just don't see in the TV series so I much preferred the book. Again just some more books that were on the three for six that um, I don't know much about but I've seen sort of doing the rounds on TikTok and things like that. So they're all, is it Freedom McFadden books? So I got Never Lie which is like a psychological thriller I believe. And I am so excited to read this, like it just is a bit of me, it's the kind of stuff that got me into reading originally. Um, so I'm definitely excited to give that one a go. And then I got The Housemaid and The Housemaid's Secret. Again, I have saw this one floating around loads on Instagram and TikTok recently. Um, and definitely wanted to give it a go. And then I'm assuming this is either like a similar concept or maybe even the same characters, I don't know. I've heard nothing about this one, but they were both on the three for six, so I just got them both together because I like to have sets. But the next sort of three for six sets that I got were these ones here, and I didn't search these at all before I bought them. It was one of those where I just went in, I had some money to spare, and just wanted to buy some books. So I got this one from Jenny Blackhurst, which is The Girl Who Left. Now reading on the back it just it does seem like a psychological thriller but I literally didn't search it at all it just kind of looked cool the back sounded good so I bought it so fingers crossed that that's a good one. I got this one here called The Best Friend and again just based on the cover and the back it sounded like a bit of me so I bought it but then straight after that one I then went for this one which pretty much looks the exact same as the other one like as you can see it's both the side profile of a lady I was clearly going on a bit of a theme that day um, and this is the serial killer's daughter now you can literally see here that there's another one of these but i didn't see that when i bought this book so it wasn't until i got home and looked into it a little bit more that i realized this was part of the series um so obviously then i had to go and buy the rest 
and one of them is at the work but but one of them isn't so again went to my trusty little wob website so world of books and got the rest so this is a three-part series so there's a serial, serial killer's wife serial killer's daughter and a serial killer's sister i don't know much about this series but it definitely interests me i like the sound of them so i'm very excited to give these a go So the next ones I got are a series that I've read before on my Kindle. So it's the Flawed series. I don't know how to say her name. Celia Hearn, maybe? That's what I'm going to go with. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but yeah, I have read them both before. I absolutely love this series. I think it's such an interesting concept. And I, I, I am going to read it again. I forgot this off my Christmas list. This was another book that was very kindly gifted by a family for Christmas. Um, my best friend recommended this to me and said that it's like one of those books that you just have to read it. Like she couldn't tell me much about it without, without spoiling it, but just read it. So I was like, okay. So I put it on my Christmas list and got that. But again, I think it's more of like a psychological thriller type. I don't know much about it. Like I say, I like to go in blind. So I don't know much, but I am excited to give it a go. Um, she did say I'd highly recommend it and every book I've read that she's recommended I have really enjoyed it. I can't remember what I'm up to. A quick little side note, I am doing sort of like a charity shop challenge at the minute where there's a series I read or I've been reading for years on and off that I only read on my Kindle and there's 24 books in the series and I've read up to book 15 so like I'm on 16 next but I can't pick up my Kindle anymore. I've made it a challenge to see if I can find all of the books in just charity shops. We had some time to kill earlier before I dropped my partner off at work. So we just had a nosy around the charity shops that are in like the area close to my home and managed to find two of them. So the series is the James Patterson Women's Murder Club books. Now my mum got me onto these when I was like 15 and I am obsessed. They're so good. So I've got 19 and 21 and I'm going to see if I can get the rest of the series. And then whilst I was in the charity shop earlier, I also found The Girl on the Train. So this is another book that my best friend recommended to me. I was like, you've just got to read it. It's so good. And I've heard a lot of like reviews about this anyway. So I'm definitely excited to give that a go. But the next one in my pile next to me is The Soulmate Equation. I know nothing about this. I'll be completely honest. I just kind of saw it, thought it was pretty, bought it. I think this might have actually been one from the works maybe it's just i've took all the stickers off so i can't remember now where i got what from but um it just looked cool i thought i'd give it a go i think this is more of like a um romance one rather than a thriller type yeah it sounds pretty cool now this is one that i'd seen really good recommendations for so this is the way i used to be by amber smith and this is sort of like a heart-wrenching one i think this is one like an emotional type book um but i am definitely excited to give this one a read i've heard of a lot of mixed reviews but a lot of like nice reviews about this book yeah i got this off amazon and it was 750. i've just found another little series that i forgot i had bought actually um this is a series that i don't think i'd have ever gone for but my nan recommended to me but it's like james patterson which is the guy i love who writes true crime and um thrillers and things writing fantasy so I am definitely excited to give these a go. Um, so this is the Maximum Ride series. And from what I can gather from the brief interaction, uh, brief conversation me and my dad had about the books, is that it's sort of like this group of kids that have all been experimented on and they're now, they've got these like certain abilities. I don't know if it's like birds or if they've just got wings or what. Um, and she can't remember very much about them. She just remembers reading them years and years ago and really enjoying them. Um, so I'm definitely excited to give these a go because I love James Patterson's writing and I do think he writes really easy read but really interesting books. So I'm definitely excited to see his take on like fantasy series. Now this book I got from Amazon on release day. Um, it's God Killer by Hannah Kainer. I did start this book and I got that far. Um, but I weren't enjoying it. I feel like there was just a lot going on in a time where I was just reading for sort of like a distraction and it just weren't hitting the spot at the time. So I am going to try this again um, a bit later on, but it's just not what I read it, what I wanted to read when I first picked this up. So I got this for £5 off Amazon. So this is going back on my shelf. This is going on my shelf 
for me to try again at a later date when I'm more in a mindset to sit down and fully concentrate, if that makes sense. Next ones are all sort of like true crime-y, th not true crime, that's not right. They're all like thriller type books. So I do think these were also charity shop finds. Yeah, so I got this one for 150, which is The False Witness. I've got a It's like two sisters, one secret, and it like tears them apart and it does sound really interesting and I'm definitely excited to get around to it. And then sticking on the Karen Slaughter theme, I also got pieces of hair. This was another charity shop find, so this one cost me £1. So I'm excited to also give this one a go, but I do think my mum will probably read it first. We're nearly there, holding tight, not much longer to go. So the next one is called I'll Be Gone in the Dark, it just looks like this. I think I just went through a theme of only buying books on like that sort of colour theme. They're all just kind of blue and yellow or blue and gold but this is another thriller um and i'm definitely excited to give this a go it does sound really interesting and then i am missing one here because this is like the second part of a two-part series but the first one my sister's got at the minute she's reading it because i love it so much and that is the family upstairs by lisa jewel jewel however you want to say her name um and the first one i absolutely love i literally read it in like less than a day i just could not put it down and then this is the second one in that series that I've also read. The second one's not as good in my opinion, but it's still really good. It just doesn't quite meet standards of the first one. But that's a really good series. It's sort of like a thriller type. There's loads of twists and turns and it's a bit odd, but I do I did really, really enjoy it. So the next few were all gifted on um, like a Facebook community that I'm part of. So the first one is In the Blink of an Eye by Joe Callahan. I think that's... How you say it? I am currently reading this. I am a good way through. So I'll probably finish this off tonight once I've finished filming this video. Well, I'm really enjoying this so far. I think it was a bit slow to begin with, but it's definitely picking up now and you can tell it's all start, gonna start getting all dramatic and interesting. So we're getting there. It's getting really like, it's getting into it now. It's getting into the story and into the drama a bit more. It's like detective work still, but with AI as well. It's a really interesting concept um, and I am enjoying it so far. The next one kind of goes back to fantasy a little bit. So this is Powerless by Lauren Roberts. I, I'll be honest, again, I don't know much about this, but it's like a romancy fantasy type book, I believe. I am really excited to read this book. I've heard a lot of good things about this. So I'm definitely excited to give this a go. And the last couple of books, we finally got there. Um, but this is two out of the Twisted series. So I've got the first one and the last one, so I have now purchased the two middle ones and these were off Amazon, I believe, so they'll be £6 each because I've just bought the middle two. Um, so I will have the Phil series come the end of tomorrow, hopefully, if not the day after, um, but I am so excited to give these a go. I've heard so many good things about these books, so I am definitely looking forward to that. So I've got Twisted Love and Twisted Lies. If you've made it this far, hats off to you, I'm impressed. Um, but that is the excessive amount of books that I have bought in the past couple of weeks. Not last couple of weeks, last couple of months. I, I know, I know it's an excessive amount of books. I just can't help myself. It is becoming a bit of an addiction at this point. That's everything for today. I am going to be doing a, um, like a, organising all my shelves and getting everything on there and organised. So... If you want to watch that, it should hopefully be up not too much longer after this one. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, like I say, I will be sort of making my channel more, more of like a range of things, not just beauty related. So there'll still be some beauty related things, but there'll also be some book related things or just general lifestyle. That's everything I think for today. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Or if there's any books in particular that you want to hear my opinion of, or any series that you recommend or want me to read, um, definitely let me know. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.